Hello, this is Joe Reagan, and in this video I would like to cover creating simple protrusions, revolved cuts, thin walls, pattern features, and simple assemblies in SolidWorks. In order to cover these topics, I'll choose a simple item. I'm going to model a pencil. I'll model this pencil as three parts, the wooden part, the metal part, and the eraser. Some rough dimensions are given here. So in SolidWorks, I'll start a new file. It needs to be a part file. I'll set my dimensions, or my units rather, to inch, pounds, and seconds. I did this through the Options button and then Document Properties. My first feature will be a hexagonal protrusion. So in order to create that, I will first create a sketch. I'll create this sketch in the right plane. I'll choose the hexagon button, center it at the origin, drag out horizontal. Then I want to fully constrain this hexagon, so I'll force this line to be horizontal and add dimensions from corner to corner I'll let that dimension be 0.3 inches which is close to what a an actual pencil will be I'll tighten this dimension up a bit escape out of the dimension properties and fit and Notice that the sketch has turned black, indicating that it's fully defined or fully constrained. So I will return from sketch, middle click, move my mouse to rotate the model a bit, go to features. Now I'm ready to extrude a base. That sketch is already selected. I want to extrude this base symmetrically. So I'll choose mid plane and I want the wood part to be about seven inches long so I'll enter seven for the extrusion length check that then fit inspect my model quickly it looks as I expected it to so now I'm ready to create a sketch that will help me sharpen the pencil I'm going to create a sketch that defines the cut the revolved cut that needs to be made in order to sharpen the pencil. So I'll go to sketch, create sketch. This time I want to sketch in the front plane. And I'll hit the space bar, double click on normal 2, and zoom in on the area that I'm interested in. I'll first create a construction line that will serve as the axis of rotation for my cut. Okay, I'll then create a closed profile using lines that represent the cut. Alright, I want to fully constrain this, so I'm going to convert this edge into a line in the sketch so I'll check and now that edge I just need it for construction purposes so I'm going to trim it well first I'll convert it to a construction line and then I want to trim it and let's check and see if that connected and it looks like it did okay so now I can drive the dimension of my cut there with the length of that construction line and I want that to be one inch okay zoom out a bit to check the effect um, now I want to make sure that this 
is long enough so that when the this profile rotates it will cut away all the material so I'm going to set that to two inches and need to make this one shorter we'll just let this one be a quarter inch that will be plenty long enough um, and then just to fully constrain it I'll go ahead and add another dimension here Okay, now we have a closed profile and a center line to rotate this profile about. And so we're ready to leave the sketch. Now I'll go to features and I want to revolve a cut. And notice that that sketch was already selected. So I'm going to set the axis of revolution to be this guy and check and fit and now our pencil is sharpened.